What a half for Chris Paul and the Clippers. Paul goes six out of six from the promised land. Clippers lead at 69-52 at Oklahoma City in game one of their Western Conference semifinal best of <laughs> Sprint halftime report. Studio J in Atlanta, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. So the Clippers ended the Golden State series with a 39-point fourth quarter franchise playoff record. Come out in this series, score 39 in the first quarter, and they were off and running against OKC. You have spoke and with good reason in glowing terms about Chris Paul, his talent, and his leadership. Chris, and in the first half tonight, unbelievable. He, uh, he, he's playing like a leader tonight. He, he, he seemed like he won't say, we're going to get off to a good start. It's like we've been through a lot. We went through a tough seven-game series. I'm going to be the star tonight. I told you, what I'm telling you about the, over the weekend, a star has to do that on the road. He can't wait for anybody. I thought he was great. he's the best leader we got in the NBA today. Very impressive, Mr. Paul. 17 points in the first quarter, 22 in the half, 8 out of 9, and 6 out of 6 from deep, Jim. Yeah, the one thing that he, Chris Paul, if, if you know anything <laughs> about him, he takes personal challenges very hard. And he, he hears... Not the whispers, but the chance that Wesley Westbrook will have his number in this series. And so he just let everybody know, no, he won't. And, and, and that's it. I mean, Chris Paul, he, he's a guy who also believes that no other point guard guards him but, uh, but, but West, uh, Westbrook. He believes that every time he guards all the point guards, but then they always put the two guard on him. So he says they never get an opportunity to go at him. So now this is mano a mano. And... He came to play. Let's talk about Westbrook uh, in his first half, 16 points on six of eight shooting. But he also turned the ball over five times, which is more turnovers than the Clippers have as a team. L.A. played basically a perfect first half, only three turnovers, leading to three Oklahoma City. Ernie, the one negative about Westbrook is, is he, he takes everything personally. Like, he, he instead of saying, I'm going to shut down Chris Paul or slow him down, he he's so competitive, he's so explosive, he tries to go at a guy offensively, and then he starts rushing. And, that, and, and at first of all, it's not his fault. They gave up 140 points. They don't pay for 140 points giving up. But I wish sometimes his competitive nature, he would say, you know what, maybe I should try to stop Chris Paul instead of going back at him. You always talk about the other Shaq, and tonight off the bench, the Clippers with a 17-4 to halftime advantage over OKC. You know, it's good to be a superstar or a part of a one-two punch, but you cannot win the championship unless the others are playing out of their mind. And the L.A. Clippers, they have fantastic others. Big Baby Davis was cut by Orlando. Doc has won the championship with him. He trusts this guy. Simple basketball, pick and roll, roll to the basket. That's all we need from you right there, Big Baby Davis. And this guy right here, former sixth man of the year, he can do it all. Right. He can shoot three, current, former, whatever. Six man of the year, he's that good, and you know he can do that. And this guy right here, Nate Collison, could be a starter on any other team. He's a guard that can shoot the ball, can play well. The others have to continue to play. Hey, what, Nick Collison could be a starter, but Darren Collison could too. <laughs> there are Collisons on both sides. You're confusing them, Chad. What did I say? Right, it's Nick. Nick's on the other side, but that's Darren. But we got the point. Uh, Collison, Schmollison, <laughs> <Sanchez. laughs> 17 to 4, the bench advantage. Uh, for the Clippers over Oklahoma City. So how do how did the Thunder get back in this game, Chef? Well, you know, they have to try to slow Chris Paul down. You know, Kenny made a big point. You know, Chris Paul is coming out and saying, you know what, you're good, but you're not this good yet. And, you, you know, they just have to try to uh, slow down the others. I think it's going to be hard for them. You know, Clippers, uh, you, you know, they're playing excellent basketball right now. The tough part about it is that in the pick and roll, if you double Chris Paul, he's not a reluctant. He is a reluctant, he's not a reluctant passer. He will pass the basketball. And they're going to have too many so, shooters on the floor. So when, he, when you double him, he actually takes the double team and he drags you so far out. And he starts finding rollers and cutters and guys shooting threes that I almost say, Chris, get 40 tonight. And continue to get 40 through the season because this series, because we can't allow Blake and DeAndre. We can't have DeAndre Jordan going 18 points and 13 rebounds or 13 points and 18. We can't have that. We'd rather have you try to get 40 every night. So that might be a, a good strategy down the stretch. If the Thunder is going to come back, as I said earlier, Russell Westbrook is going to have to take a personal challenge. He's the only guy on Oklahoma City who's got enough talent to try to slow down Chris Paul. This guy may be the best athlete in the NBA. 
But he's got his hand because the house is on fire right now with Chris Paul. Oh, you I thought you said he takes it personally too much. Yeah, no, 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 no. On, on okay. Offensively. Okay. Okay. He needs to take it defensively. Yeah. I got what you're saying. I got you. Well, you no, I just want to make, I just want to make up your mind. Just hey, listen, right, right. at least I didn't confuse a white guy and a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> and one guy, si one guy 6'10", and one guy 6'2". Hey, hey, I forgot to, one of, among the stats uh, in the first half, we forgot this assist, uh, Jeff Teague. We handed out the blueprint, and he's he's talking about the uh, Indiana-Washington Indiana series. Hey, they lost. I know, yeah, but, but they handed the out blueprint. the blueprint. On how to, Jeff T. On how to the deal on this. Jeff, nice try, Jeff. <laughs> the, hey, the, blueprint the blueprint is supposed to work. <laughs> you, got your, you got your tweet on the air, at least. Uh, Tuesday on uh, TNT, Nets and Heat game one, Blazers and Spurs game one. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome to the Sprint Halftime Report. Get the free NBA Game Time app. Learn more at Sprint.com slash NBA. Unlimited highlights at the half presented by Sprint. Chuck, I might be confused, but you're on the ground. You know, <laughs> you guys going at each other, I think there's only there's only one thing that really that really uh, sums it all up, and it would be this. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I've been, me and Jason have been working on my ground and pound. In the no, no, no. Chuck, stop talking. Well, well, I think there's a little hostility building up. I mean, this is good. <laughs> <that's just working laughs> I, I just want to know if... If this well, is back home. This is May 5th. I mean, this is look at Kevin. In the playoffs. Yo, this is May 5th. We have nine days to just figure out. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo, by the way. Happy. We need to Cinco figure that out. I know. Yeah, we should be somewhere with margaritas. All we need is all we need is a little mat. No, you need a big mat to put your big butt on the ground. I know oh. you ain't talking no, about. I'll be on y'all. Be easy. I know you ain't talking about. Big Let's get it on. May 14th is back on. That situation in the playoffs. <laughs> you gotta turn. You gotta turn that up. Yeah. Man, did the Pacers come out flat at home in game one against Washington, down by double digits, and then they get a steal here in Paul George, and and one, and they're down 82 to 76 with about seven and a half to go in a game at the field house. Man. Bradley Beal, the steal. This is awful right here. And he'll get it back. Hmm. And uh, the final was, was 102 to 96. Wasn't that close, folks? Wow. Wizards 4 and 0 on the road in the postseason. They wow, the Wizards are gonna be in the Eastern Conference Final, guaranteed. That's because they play with a lot of hostility during the playoffs. You've been watching the Sprint Halftime Report. Get the free NBA Game Time app. Learn more at sprint.com/nba.